What is up fidgeters? We have a selection of fidgeting items that I'm going to review. Over the years, I've been known to be a fidgeting person. I fidget. I'm known for being a fidgeter. I have chosen no order for this to be in. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. Let's just have some fun. So, we're going to start with this, right? It's not really even like a fidgety item. It's just something I like. It's, it's just... It, yeah. Yeah. It... Oh, mm. It is something I like to distract myself with. What is it? Well, it's kind of like fit it in the thing. It's it's got a certain amount of cubes of um, things that we can have, and in those things we can simply put stuff. This makes sense. I have scripted this to the best of my ability, and I shall be suing. So how does this work, you might be wondering. It's a fun game, fun game. The, the thing that you have to do is simply just fill in this. This is not good for all occasions. That's what we're truly trying to find. What is the best fidgety item for all occasions? Um, and if it doesn't fit my needs, what will I do with it? And obviously, uh, I remember exactly how to do it. Actually, I spent ages uh, figuring out how how you're supposed to do this and how you're supposed to win so we're we're all good um there's no there's nothing i don't know about this oh geez what am i supposed to be doing here um i i it's fine i remember i remember do i remember when was the last time my wife saw me when when was the last time i saw the outside bob Bob? Bob? He's actually moved. He's migrated for winter, but that's okay. I still don't know what I'm doing here, and that's a problem. No. Uh, this was the worst thing I could have done. The the pieces were all over the floor. I'd, I'd lost a few, and then I found them. It took me 30 minutes to put back together, and I, I had to use the recording to, to know which way it was supposed to go in. I can't believe I did this to myself. Maybe we leave that for now. Right, I need you to subscribe and then maybe I won't, I won't die, which is a problem because then you won't get any more content. So subscribe to help me help you. And um, the next one is this. This is really cool. It's a Doctor Who Frisbee, but it's got this really cool, it's got this really cool like maneuvering system where you can just pull it in and out and it's really cool um would i bring it anywhere well to the park maybe um but mostly this is just a home fidgeter makes a considerable bit of noise so in the best way possible let's yeet it okay the next thing we've got is this wonderful poppers oh this funny little thing this is not a war. Oh. I fought in Good. a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, oh. like this, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. count. I don't know what to do with all that pain. Shall I tell you where you put it? Now, if you existed in England over the summer, you will have found huge ones. Absolutely massive ones. These just could not leave your eyeballs for one second down the market. But I have one. Uh, I didn't buy it because I thought they were stupid. But basically, what you've got is you've got these these popper things, and you pop them in, and and you do the you do the thing. Although, if you're like me, you realise that you've got big hands, and you could just pop multiple at once which is super cool if you wanted to pop something you can pop more than one at once whoa this is honestly the peak of my content is it annoying it makes a bit of sound i don't think it makes too much sound but it's quite large like you couldn't put it in your pocket um i don't even think i could put it in my jacket this jacket doesn't have pockets so i'm not putting it there 
So again, we're going to throw it. The next one we have is, um, honestly, I got it in a Christmas cracker because it was Christmas. Happy New Year, by the way. I hope you're all having a, a great time in 2022. Anyway, um, we've got this. It's the one block, th one by three Rubik's Cube. Uh, for some reason, it still has a color um, at the bottom. Uh, we've got one colour at the bottom, one at the top. It's supposed to have a key ring. Uh, it fell off because this is extremely cheap. It's supposed to fit in your keychain. Therefore, it's supposed to be small. The problem is the spinny action. It's not too good. We'll put it to. We'll put it in our savers. We got this. This is cool. Right. So, well, I mean, I came like this, and it's a spinny thing. You can spin it all around. It's so cool because it's spinny. And it spins. It's a spinny thing. What else does it actually do? Nothing. It's quite loud, I will say. Um, it, it's, it, it's got a considerable amount of clicking. Let us put this to the microphone so we can test it. Do a bit of ASMR. <laughs> it can also click back together and then... I'll show you the many shapes I can make with it. We have cute rectangle. It's a rectangle. We have um, square. Just give me a second. We can get a square out of this, baby. Square hexagon. We can probably create any variation of this, except for more like a circle. But we could also do something quite fascinating. Look at this. Look at that, a little house. Do I love the house? Yes. Does the house love me back? Well, no, because I still have to pay mortgage. The noise makes it a yeet. Uh, this is the absolute worst, though. It, it's also one of those wiggly things. It's got a weird texture that maybe some people like, but it just kind of makes me feel a bit icky. Honestly, it, it's a silicon thing, and I don't like it. It's be gone. Oh, it got stuck on the tripod. Well, that's a problem for me later. The next thing we have is a little Rubik's Cube. Now, this is a pocket Rubik's Cube, which, honestly, I quite like. Uh, are you going to complete it? Uh, probably don't. I just recommend don't. I've given up. Um, and, and that's the mini Rubik's Cube. We're going to put that to one side, because it might just be good enough. Now, here's the saddest entry on our list. The cube. I... I like the cube. The Infinite Cube. Infinity Cube. Oh... In a cube, infinity cube, cube of finna, finity cube. I had, I used to have one of these. Uh, it's currently probably behind a sofa somewhere in Egypt. And it used to be metal uh, hinges. And honestly, the action on those hinges were top notch. And basically, I prefer to use this single handedly. So, what I like to do is I like to flip it around, and usually those will just collapse anyway. Have it like that in one hand, then get a nice fold. Just fold it up like that, uh, that motion, satisfying to me. And then another fold and another fold. But then you've got to rely on the action for those little last bits, like these little bits. And the problem is, for this one, it's just not there. It's just not there. It could be there, it's about there, but it's also not there. And that's what's disappointing me tremendously. It's quite tappy, like... I've just dropped it off the edge. I've dropped it off the edge of the table. You know what that means? I can hear it already. We have the fidget spinner. That's really loud, that's annoying. Uh, we don't just have one of these. We have two of these. Now fight. <laughs> My Beyblade won. My Beyblade has won. This one anyway would win. I just want to have that motion, that continuous motion of spinning it which is why I need something that spins it quite, quite easily. And I honestly think the chrome ones, the metal ones that have these bevels, just make your hand like finger just slide in so much easier. That sounds weird. Uh, don't ignore what I just said. Therefore, it's staying, it's staying. Now here's the thing that honestly everyone loves, but I hate. I hate that. What is that? I hate it. This is the worst thing in the world. Right, what am I supposed to start with first? First of all, pressing these buttons, there is no way for my hand to do it that isn't completely annoying. I, ca I can flip the button, but that's loud. And we know that I don't like being loud. Dumbledore asked, 
Come. We've got we've got this the the little toggle thing that's nice, but I don't know what I'm doing with it. And and the problem is there's no way to put my the rest of my hand that's not slightly uncomfortable. What am I supposed to do with this? Sometimes the action just doesn't work. And why are these here? They're so stiff. I just absolutely hate it. This is the worst thing I have ever used. Look what I'm doing. It's not even working. So I think we should keep it. Next ones are really cool. I love these ones. Right, two magnets there, right? Best things ever. They're magnetic, beautiful, and they're spinny. So you've got this little white bit on the inside that is just to hold it and then oh. Clearly, if you do it without having the other one, it's not as fun and therefore it goes off. It's a shame because it's not that loud really. The next one we have is quite an interesting one and they're really fun. It's just like a netting and then a ball in the middle and then you can you can push it up and you can push it you can push it down and it's quite entertaining, I'm not gonna lie. And when I do it like this, it's like I've then got to, to redo it, but it, it's serviceable. I'd say it's definitely a weaker option of the ones that we've had so far. Now here's onto the stress ball or kind of well, I guess it's a rugby football thing, if you're um, American. I knew this video would be annoying, why did I do it? And um, it's, it's fun! Uh, the second thing I have is from the film Inception. <laughs> I must be in the real world. It's, it's, oh Jesus Christ, it, it's, you know. Uh, first of all, you need a table or at least a flat surface. You can't exactly control where it goes. And, to be honest, you kind of need to pay attention to it, which is why it's not a good spinny item. However, what is a good spinny item? Well, oh, I should probably like... Honestly, sometimes the most simple items are the best. Seriously, I mean, look at that. It seems confusing, but it's so satisfying. I honestly deliberately didn't pick it up because I didn't think it would be cool, but... Oh! And it kind of does this motion where like both of these like little parts are going in on each other and going around. For one-handed stuff, it's got a lot of friction. And honestly, it's currently my favorite. But don't worry, we have more. I, I just need to go get them. Okay, I've found the last one. It just needs a little bit of work. All right, it just needs a little bit of work. So if you hadn't seen that put together sequence, you might be wondering what the heck is this? Again, it's a tad clicky, um, but honestly that's not its worst trait. It, its worst trait is sometimes these pieces can be dislodged and then you have to click them back into place. It kind of gets a little bit frustrating and you kind of just want to say stop it and throw it out a window. Uh, but unfortunately, I am not a window and you are a viewer. So we've got my top five fidget items. We've got number one, spinny ring thing. That's the name, spinny ring thing. We've got mini, we've got four items. We've got the spinny ring thing. We have cool chrome fidget spinner. We have Rubik's two by one, three by one. It's not Lego. And then we have these marble, string things. What's my favourite? Well, based on uh, what I've said, uh, no. Ow! We've got these, they're alright, there's just, it's got the little bits that I'm on about, you know? It's like, it feels two-handed. I don't necessarily like things being two-handed and, you know, it... They gotta go. And, and then it comes to the ring thing and this Honestly, this fidget, the fidget, the fidget spinner is customizable. You can get many different variations. But honestly, I think this might be the perfect one. What can I say? I'm a fidget spinner guy. I've got a fidget spinner thing, and I, I do the fidget spinners, right? So here's the problem with each one of them. This one, it honestly, it's quite sharp. It's just sometimes annoying to reach, like. You don't know where to place your hands. This one, this is honestly weird. Flying saucers, fidget spinners. I don't see the point in the Iron Man one. This one is honestly horrendous. Whoever designed this, don't. The second best one is kind of difficult to, to just, to kind of, 
put your finger, you put like stop it and then instantly just go off of it. When I think this one, you could pretty much do it every time. Honestly, if you had to give them both to me, this one just makes less sound and it's a little easier, but it's also easy to get lost. But hey, that's my conclusion. And that is pretty much it. That's everything. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Why does this video just feel completely unnecessary? I'm so sorry. Have a good day. Goodbye.